Stay tuned for an announcement at the end of the video. Well, it's been a few weeks since I got to upgrade the Vetus Nucleus VR, but today it's time to super upgrade the Vetus. We're gonna take all the nice parts between the Axum and the Vetus, and we're gonna merge them together to create one super budget bike. The budget will probably be through the roof, but hey, it's not about that sometimes. For this video, I'm gonna subtract the parts that are taken off the Vetus because they still hold value and I could easily resell them. With the Axum, I was taking off parts that are worthless, like this six pound coil spring fork. That just belongs in the trash. First up, I'm gonna take off the box four group set, the Tektro brakes, and the SR Suntour forks. So with both crank sets off, the Shimano Dior and the stock Vetus, uh, I went ahead and weighed both of them with their sprockets and it looks like the Dior is 25 ounces and the stock Vetus is 35 ounces. So this one's going to go on the Axum and I'm going to put this one on the Vetus. I still can't tell if the stock Vetus bottom bracket is sealed or not but I'm pretty sure that it is. But that bottom bracket was on there way too tight. Now I'm gonna be adding the Shimano M200 brakes, which are much stronger and have a much better feel than the Tektro brakes that came stock on the Vetus. Well, I already have an 11 speed box four group set, so might as well throw it on. Although I was really surprised with the box four group set, which shifted very well, but the shifter was a little flimsy. So the Chinese Enduro fork was fun and all, but it's time to get a little bit more serious. I don't be putting on the Manitou Markar fork on the Vetus, and I can't use the DT Swiss hub that I had before, and I can't use the Chinese knockoff that I had with the Vetus Enduro, because they're both 36 hole, and one's boost and one's not. So I picked up from eBay an Originate front hub 32 hole boost spacing, which was $71. It was unfortunate to find out that the Vetus had an unsealed headset, so I picked up a Jessica headset for $19 off eBay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and lace up this Originate front hub, but I'll keep it quick for you guys because this is literally the fourth time I've laced up a front hub for this channel. So a spoke ended up breaking when I was lacing up the wheel. So I had a spoke on hand that was a little bit too long. As you can see there, it's sticking it past the rim a little bit. I'm a little nervous about that, but the WTB wheels came with this little rim strip underneath the tape, which I'm really counting on this and work and not poke through the Gorilla tape. This is where that spoke is, and there's a little bump right here, but I'm gonna tape it up right now and see if that works. The one thing that I wanna do to make this bike more of an XC-oriented bike is to fix the body positioning. With the Vetus, I feel a little cramped in the cockpit. So for that reason, I picked up a race phase Evolve stem, which is 70 millimeters long with a seven degree up or down rise. And I'll be flipping the stem, so my positioning will be more over the front of the bike, which will equal faster climbing and a more comfortable position. All right, now I'm just gonna step on the scale and weigh the bike. Bike weighs 29 pounds. 
Yes. Not that I'm a weight weenie or anything. With the bike complete, now it's time to go shred. Whoa, this feels kind of weird. Feels like I can barely steer. This stem just felt just too long for me. I felt like I was a passenger and just kind of riding in the backseat of this bike. Luckily, I have a race face for Spawn, 60 millimeters, so 10 millimeters shorter, and it has a 10 degree up and down sweep, so that way it's gonna drop my bars even lower. And I'm gonna try this one out and see how it goes. All right, after that stem change, the bike felt great, but you know what? I feel like there's something missing. I feel like I need to dress for the part. This thing climbs so much better now. Wow, this bike can turn and carve like no other now. I'm barely having to use my brakes. This is awesome. All right, just finished my first ride with the upgraded Vetus Nucleus. And I can say that this thing is fully dialed now. It has 11 speeds, it has tubeless tires, dropper posts, great brakes, great cranks, fits me very well, and it weighs about 29 pounds. And I think it's ready. And ready for what you might ask? Well, I'm pleased to tell you that in January, I will be entering my first mountain bike race called the Estrella Hedgehog Hustle, which is a cross country race in Avondale, Arizona. And I got two months to prepare. So make sure you subscribe. I plan on making some pretty cool videos along the way. And who knows, maybe the bike will need to be upgraded so I can really be competitive in a cross country race. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.